Well, that's a, it's a law. Uh, it's, it's a state law, and you know it's a law that lasts for a year. So that, that's a question that would need to be, of course, taken up by the state legislature. But I, I think we need to always remember that uh, this is not uncharted territory. Uh, we have to be very careful. These viruses, uh, the COVID-19, the variant, and whatever comes next are very serious. We have plenty of vaccination places and plenty of vaccine out there. We need to be very, very careful because uh, we, we, uh, we understand the virus and we know it is uh, dangerous. So any plans would you recommend repealing that ban at all for the mask? Well, that, that's up to the legislature. It is a state law. And for them to come back in would be a decision that they would have to make. I have no authority to call them back in. Would you be in support of that, though? I think that we need to be very careful and anything that's done must be done with due consideration to the needs and opinions and views of the parents. The parents need to be in every equation when we speak about schools and masks and vaccines. Governor Pickens County just had to go virtual because of the number of COVID-19 cases. Several of our local school districts are going back to school this week. What do you say to the parents who are concerned and anxious about sending their kids back? Well, I, I think people are, are, they need to be concerned, but we have ample information. I would say uh, get, get information from the appropriate sources, get the facts. Uh, the vaccine is, is available for those, those who are eligible. And of course, adults, it's available for all adults. And it's not available for children under 12, but it's available for all adults. Uh, but uh, I certainly don't think that we ought to be requiring children to wear masks in order to protect adults that have a choice whether they want to get the vaccine or not. And it is readily available. But whatever we do, we must be uh, cognizant and aware of the opinions and the views of the parents. But uh, there are various temporary measures that uh, are within the school's authority, but I emphasize they're temporary. The law is the law. Uh, we must be careful. We must be, be smart. But the parents are the ones that know what's best for their children. What, have, what other options are there for these kids? If, if, if to some extent there's no masks in the classroom, what can school well, do? Well, if they want to wear a mask in the classroom, they can wear a mask in the classroom. It just is not under, under the state law. The, the school, the district, cannot enforce such a, a mandate. But anyone who wants to wear a mask, just like any of you here today, I see nobody has one on, but you're free to wear one if you want to. What about right now? We're seeing another peak in COVID cases here in South Carolina. Any plans to issue another state of emergency? Any no, we're, we're, we're not where we were last, uh, last year. And the numbers, uh, the, we're watching those numbers very carefully. Uh, they are different numbers for different things, but we're not in the place that we were last year. We have a vaccine now. In fact, we have three, and we, we know how to manage. We can't end the virus, it doesn't appear, but uh, we, we do know how to manage it. But I would urge everybody to be careful. Peggy and I got the vaccine. Our children got the vaccine. I would urge everybody to, to get that vaccine. Unless, unless you really have some reason for not wanting to do it, there's plenty of it. You can get it most anywhere, and it's free. Last question, guys. Uh, in, in that law, that, uh, is there a certain number of uh, days where they can do e-learning uh, through public schools? I think, schools? yeah, I, mean, I think it's, uh, I think it's, is, it, is that the 5%? I think that's 5%. Of course, there are, there are state laws on the number of days a child must, must attend. Uh, of course, they have to abide by the law. But does it make you nervous that the Pickens County is already doing these e-learning days? after the first week of school and no, other I, schools uh, again th this too. is this is not last year last year this was new we had no vaccine we did no, not know uh, precisely how the, uh, the virus was spread we've got a, over a year's worth of history with it now and the as uh, a lot of the health experts have said the, the best answer to the illness is the vaccine it's the vaccine that's available all over south carolina for free, and as I say, Peggy and I had, had taken our shots, our children had taken their shots. But uh, again, it's, it's, I don't think it's, it's right for the, to require children to wear masks. They, they don't have a choice about what to do or, or whether to get the vaccine because it's not available to, to most of them, but the adults do. So adults, if, if they are concerned, 
particularly if they were working around the schools, they should be vaccinated, get, get that vaccination.